everyone, it's Catherine from Ready, Set, ABA. And I wanted to take the time today to go over the different types of CMOs. So we did a video just a little bit ago on the difference between UMO and CMO. And there are different types of condition motivating operations that I wanted to discuss and compare, provide examples so that it makes a little bit more sense. And this is part of our video series, ABA Made Easy. So we have three types of condition motivating operations. And just to review, anytime we hear the word conditions, it means learned. It's something that has been paired or learned in the past that influences our behavior. And MO is the motivating operation. And this is something that influences our behavior. It's our motive, it's our why. A lot of times it's part of the function and related. So are we doing what we're doing because we're trying to avoid something? Um, do we have a motivation to escape a situation? Are we anxious? Are we hungry, tired? All of those things are part of motivating operations. What makes them conditioned is you've had experiences before and that influences our future behavior. So just the experience alone will be conditioned to evoke certain feelings that you have about a situation. Pairing, okay, so think of pairing with condition motivating operation. Let's look at the different types of CMOs. So the first one that we have is CMOS. And this one is condition motivating operation and it's a surrogate. And this CMOS, so surrogate, something is paired. Let's say that there is a child who is attached to a stuffed cat toy. They have to have this when they sleep. In fact, if the child sees this stuffed cat toy when they're not tired or in a random point of the day, it may make them want to take a nap. It may actually make them want to go lie down. It reminds them of sleeping. So the cat toy is a CMOS and it actually creates that motivation of wanting to lay down or sleep. So the motivating operation, just by seeing that cat toy alone, makes them want to lay down. So that's a, an example of that classic CMOS paired. Now the next one is reflexive, CMOR. And this one, you think of something that's repulsive or avoidant. So this is something that you want to avoid based on experiences that you have. So this pairing is a negative association. So let's say that one time you got food poisoning from the Italian restaurant down the street, restaurant down the street. And then every time you pass by that restaurant, you actually remember and are repulsed by the side of that restaurant. So you may not actually feel nauseous, but it's reminding you that you want to avoid that restaurant. So you've had this unpleasant event that is now associated with this restaurant, okay? So that's an example of CMOR. Next, I'm gonna take this one off so that we have more space here. Next is CMOT. So this is the transitive piece. The transitive piece is really problem solving. So this is, your motivation is maybe to find something and maybe you've come into a point where you're looking for your key and for to get into your house and you're looking for your key in your purse and you can't find it. So then you go to your car and you start to search. So that searching piece and really trying to problem solve is ultimately so that you can get into the house and maybe rest or maybe do something else. But what happens is now, instead of being able to directly access what you want, you're having to search and you've learned uh, because of the transitive piece, you've learned how to search for things and find what you need to ultimately get what you want. So this is a bit of a roadblock. It's another step in the sequence. Your motivation changes. First, it was just to open the door to get inside to lie down. Then you have to have your key to get that. Well, you can't find your key, so now you have to search in your purse. Then you can't find it still. So the continuous searching, the searching is the motivation in this example. And you've learned that based on conditioned experiences. Okay, so I hope this helps sum it up. Remember, condition is learned. These are the three types. I do have, we have other visuals on our Instagram. If you want to look at other examples and comparisons, let us know. Hope you enjoyed.